Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's light our candle to mark our brief time in God's Word today. And lighting a candle is a reminder that in this darkened world with all of its troubles and all of its brokenness, Jesus always, always is the light of the world. Some years ago, quite a few years ago in fact, I picked up this old radio for just a, a couple of dollars at a garage sale. I've always been intrigued by by the magic of, of radio. I'm not sure why. Maybe it goes back to the days when I was a kid and our local radio station used to replay old, old radio broadcasts and, and uh, all the old radio dramas, the scary ones even. Uh, and, and perhaps I was always taken by the power of the spoken word and how it could create a theater of the, of the mind and you could have such compelling drama simply through the, the power of the spoken word and the power of, of sound. At any rate, I have two or three uh, old radios that you can pick up at, at estate sales for just a couple of dollars. And uh, the, the, the magic of, of the old radios, this, this old technology, is that you turn it on and, and, and of course the, the, the sound on the radio does not come on right away. It takes the tubes, and there are tubes in the back of this radio. It takes a while for the tubes to warm up, and then there, there is a light that comes on here, and there's a warm glow about it, and then finally the, the, the sound of the spoken word or, or the music begins to, to come out of the speaker. Has it ever happened to you, I know it's happened to me, where whether it's a radio or any kind of electric uh, appliance. Maybe it's new, maybe you moved it someplace and, and, you, and you turn on the switch, it's in the on position, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, nothing happens, nothing happens. And you begin to troubleshoot. What's the problem? Is it, is it something in the back? Uh, do I have it adjusted in the wrong way? And you, and you go through this long list of problems and, and then finally somebody asks, well, is it plugged in? And you check. And the answer is no, it is not plugged in. Sometimes the problem is the most obvious one. Sometimes when something is not working, it's because it's not plugged in. This summer, here's a question for all of us. Do you sometimes feel as though you are a radio that's sitting and it's in the on position, but things are not happening in your life as you think they need to be happening? Something is off, something is not quite right. And perhaps you are going through a long list of, I, I, I don't know what the problem is. And you go through the, the checklist of, of, of why things might be out of kilter, why things are, are, are just off center, why are things not flowing as, as you sense that they should be or need to be. Could it be, could it be, that when it comes to your soul, that you're not quite plugged in. This, this summer, this year, really, has been unprecedented in so many ways, hasn't it? As, at least in, in our lifetimes, with, with COVID and, and social unrest and uh, political divisions, political bitterness. The headlines are simply overwhelmed with all of these things that are going on, things that can cause distress and anxiety, confusion, fear, that can also have a way of crowding out the one thing you and I need to be plugged into. Are you plugged into 
the greatest relationship that you have? Are you plugged into the power of the gospel? The Lord in his word tells us over and over that apart from our relationship with Christ, as he says in his gospel, I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me you can do nothing. That when we allow ourselves to drift or be, to become detached or, 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 or over time, we are just not connected into the, the living, breathing Word of God, which is our, our lifeline to our Savior. It then is no wonder, perhaps, that life, our lives, begin to get off kilter, off center, that we feel as though the switch is in the on position, but the light is not on, and nothing seems to be working as it needs to. Brothers and sisters, sometimes perhaps it comes down to something as simple as this. If you have a, a radio or uh, podcasts or, or TV or whatever your or, or uh, smartphone, whatever you, the source of your news is and the headlines and all the things that are happening, perhaps, just perhaps, it's a matter of turning that switch into the off position for a little while and to let the voice of your Savior speak. Perhaps, perhaps, the simplest answer is the answer. Maybe we just need to turn the headlines off. Maybe we just need to turn the noise down so that you and I can have time with the voice of our Savior and His Word. Whether it's gathering in God's Word in the live stream, whether it's gathering here uh, in our services on the weekend, or, and this is just as vitally important, we turn off the radio, we turn off the noise, and we let our Savior speak so that His voice and His Spirit, by the power of His Gospel, gets, gets a place into our heart and soul all over again to refresh us and to recreate us and to renew the bond of faith that we have with our Savior who gave His life to wash us clean the one who has covered us in his holiness, the one in whom we trust, the one through whom we have forgiveness and peace and eternal life and every promise he gives us. Would you consider that today? Perhaps turning the news off for a time and instead letting the voice of your Savior speak in his word. The word of God from Romans chapter 1 verse 16, the Apostle Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.